Can Ole Gunnar Solskjaer win the League Cup? This is rotation time for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It was a criticism, I think, that was fair to say about his management last year. It's why Bruno and Rashford burned out so badly. Football is coming thick and fast for Man United. We played West Ham on Sunday in the Premier League. A 2-1 win at the London Stadium. Lingard and De Gea. Now, on Wednesday, we play West Ham again. Only three days later. This time at Old Trafford. This time in the League Cup. Can Ole Gunnar Solskjaer win the League Cup? In February, I think the final is. It would be a fantastic way to get a boost into the season at that point. Get Solskjaer's first trophy. I think he's going to take... The domestic cup competitions very, very seriously this year. But we have to rotate. This is rotation time for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It was a criticism, I think, that was fair to say about his management last year. It's why Bruno and Rashford burned out so badly. This is my starting eleven that I think we'll see against West Ham. It's really hard to guess this one, but you can let me know yours in the comments. In goal, there's no way I'm going to put Tom Heaton in here. Sorry, Tom. De Gea keeps his place. Heroic De Gea saved the penalty against Mark Noble with his first touch of the game. Oh dear, oh dear. Moyes made a mistake there. De Gea, what a fantastic save that was. And I think he'll keep his place in this team. Well, goalkeepers rarely, really need to get rotated. They don't what, They don't move that much. They don't get worked that hard. I think De Gea will be fine there. Now, in the back defence, I think there will be some changes. I don't think it'll be Luke Shaw. I don't think Tellez is going to be fit enough to start this game just yet. I might be wrong on this one. Tellez might have been better in training than I thought he had been so far. But I'm putting sure. Centre-backs, I'm going Maguire and Lindelof. And on the right-hand side, I'm going Diogo Delot. I'll explain all the decisions. Maguire, I think, will keep his place in the team. He's been overshadowed, I would say, by Varane in the last few games. But while there will be rotation in this 11, it won't be a full different 11. And it shouldn't be, really. What the rotation needs to do at United is to let certain players have a rest whilst not losing the overall quality of the team. That's why I think Maguire will play here against Lindelof. And I think Varane will get a rest. Delot, he deserves an opportunity. And Wan-Bissaka was a player who I think, but only behind Maguire last year for how many minutes he played for United. Wan-Bissaka is going to get exhausted. I think Wan-Bissaka played well to recover from his midweek red card against Young Boys. Did really well, I think, against West Ham. I think he'll be rested in this game. So I'm going for a back five of De Gea with Shaw and Delot as full backs with Maguire and Lindelof as the two centre-backs. Who would your partners be at the back for United in the middle? Do you see Varane keeping his spot? Maybe Maguire getting a rest? You let me know what you think in the comments below. But before I do move on, come on, just want to say a shout-out. Big shout-out to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. For sponsoring United People's TV over the next couple of months, they came back in. And you know the drill by now. If you Honestly, if you don't know, I uh, keep saying this. Genuinely, OneFootball, a great app. Go on there. All the scores, all the news, all the stats, all the matches, everything you can need about Manchester United in one place. There is a link in the description. It's free to download. It will help United People's TV if you click that and go through and download it. It will help one football because they'll get more people using the app. They deserve it. It's a cracking app and genuinely big up to one football for sponsoring United People's TV and big up to all of you for helping make that sponsorship happen. But let's move on from defense here and let's move on to midfield and make sure you click that link in the description and you download the OneFootball app first. Now in midfield, the question marks that happen every single week. What will happen? Who will start? I'll get straight into it. I think we're going to see Matic and Donny start in midfield. Could McTominay start? Yeah, of course he could. But he came in for his first game against West Ham in the Premier League and I thought played very, very well in a box-to-box -box midfield role. I don't think Solskjaer is going to risk him here. I don't know why you would. We've got quality We've got some quality anyway. We've got options. And I think McTominay will, should be eased back in. The last thing we want is McTominay to like aggravate a groin problem and turn it into an actual bigger issue where he misses like six to eight weeks. Now, I'm playing Matic here and I'm playing him alongside Donny. Come on, Donny. Get him there for the start. Hopefully, wan Saka. Well, he can't actually. Listen. He's not starting. Well, not in this 11 anyway. Hopefully, no red card to take it away because I thought Donny was quietly impressive against young boys. I really did. I still don't know whether he's going to be a, a, able to play in the double pivot. But I think uh, probably Matic is the best partner for him in this sense. You can't really play Van Der Beek and Fred together. I don't think so anyway. Maybe you could. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't personally think so. You can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But Matic is there for the sort of stability and the security. Allowing Donny Van Der Beek to maybe play a little bit like Scott McTominay did against West Ham. A little bit more box to box. A little bit more freedom going forward. Maybe Solskjaer wouldn't trust Matic to play in that role on his own. And he'd feel a little bit too isolated if Van Der Beek was to do that. But that's my prediction. Who would you start in midfield? You let me know in the comments below. Now, moving up the pitch, I still think there will be changes. I'm going for a front four of Lingard, Bruno, Sancho and Martial. 
I think we'll see Ronaldo rested for this game. Sure, you could start him, and sure, he probably would score. Of course he would. Four and three now. Absolutely insane numbers from Ronaldo. But Ronaldo's 36, and we have to manage him properly. I think we, we do have enough quality here in this team here to win this game here, apparently, without Ronaldo in it. And if we don't, Ronaldo will be on the bench, come on in the 65th, 70th minute if we need to change it. But Lingard will definitely start. After that unreal goal against West Ham, he deserves to start. Well done, Jesse, for burying the young boys. Only a few days later to go and do that is a huge show of real mentality from him that he has actually properly matured into a man now at United. He's, what, 28, 29? He should be. I think Bruno will keep his place in this team. Now, Bruno was a player like Marcus Rashford last year who was way overused, way, way overused. So a lot of people, I think, could fairly argue here that Bruno deserves to have a rest. I think it's early enough in the season that we can play him here and then play him against Aston Villa on Saturday and we shouldn't be too worried about it. I would like to see Bruno start here. And as I said, it... While it's a case of rotating players in and out and keeping everyone fresh, you do need to keep some of the starting 11 in there. That's why I've got De Gea, I've got Maguire, eh, Matic if you want to call him that, I don't really think so, and then Bruno. And then the rest of them are, at the moment, fringe players. Now, Jaden Sancho, didn't think he'd be a fringe player at this point, but he's had a, he struggled, isn't he? At the start of his United career. And Sancho, this is a perfect sort of opportunity for him. Get that first goal in front of the fans at Old Trafford. I want to see Sancho start this game. Now, Martial up front. If, is Cavani fit? I don't know. Actually, no. I think Cavani might be fit. He might not be fit. I think he's only just about returning to training. So I don't think he'll be in here. Martial, he's going to be a proper fringe player all year. Ronaldo's going to be our number nine. Well, number seven, but our main striker. Cavani will be his backup and Martial will be the backup to the backup. He could alternatively be a backup to the left wing when Marcus Rashford is back. But Jesse Lingard playing as he is at the moment, he's going to keep Martial out of the team. Anthony Martial has got to take the opportunities. This is his final season at Manchester United if he does not prove himself. Simple as that. I think Martial's gone in the summer. If he does not show this year that he it can be an integral part of this squad, he can be relied on for goals. And this, for me, is an opportunity for him to show that. And I think Solskjaer will give it to him because he'll want to rest Ronaldo in certain games. And for me, as I said, this is one of them. Now, West Ham, is it's not exactly a walk in the park by any stretch of the imagination. It's third round of the League Cup. We could have got a much easier team on paper. We've just beaten them there. They did tire towards the end. Antonio, is he still banned for this game? I think he got a three-match ban. Oh, I don't know. I, he might start, he might not start. But West Ham, I think, were... I thought it was very comfortable for United for the majority of that game against West Ham. Not enough penetration, not enough real quality right towards the end, but Fabianski probably got man of the match for West Ham because he made a couple of unreal saves from Cristiano Ronaldo and from Bruno Fernandes. Now, I think Bruno's going to start this game. For me, I really want to see Sancho start crucial that Sancho starts. It's also crucial that Solskjaer begins to rotate his players. I said it was one of the biggest things, the biggest problems that he has to fix this year, and I need to see it here. I don't want to see De Gea, Shaw, Varane, Maguire, Fred and McTominay there with, I don't know, with Jaden Sancho, well, he's in this team, with Bruno, with Ronaldo. You've got to rotate Solskjaer, and this is the perfect opportunity to do so. So that would be my start at 11. I'm going to Hay at the back with Shaw and De Lot. As fullbacks, giving Wamba Saka a little bit of a rest. Maguire and Lindelof giving Varane a rest in the middle. Rolls Royce Varane. Mm. Middle, I'm going for Matic and Van der Beek. Either dropping Fred or giving Fred a rest. You can decide however you want to package that. But McTominay, I don't want to see him risked. Not after his first game back in a while. There's no point playing him two times in three days. Not if you can play Matic and not if you can give Donny a chance. And I think Donny deserves a chance. Again, after Young Boys, he did nothing but show me that he deserves a full 90 minutes. He should get that against West Ham. Up front, Lingard, Bruno and Sancho. Lingard definitely starts after West Ham. Bruno, I think he probably will start. I wouldn't be upset if he was rested though. If someone else came in, who would you choose then? Maybe Van der Beek playing further up. Maybe Fred coming into midfield alongside Matic. That could happen. And Martial up front. I don't want to see Ronaldo playing every single week. I want to keep him fresh for the Premier League against Villa on Saturday. So that would be my starting 11 for the game. Who is being yours? You let me know in the comments below. The League Cup... It's an opportunity for Solskjaer to get that silverware. Get it done in February. It could be a great momentum builder for the business end of the season. So I think you'll take the domestic competitions very seriously this year. Who would be in your team though? You let me know in the comments below. And as I said, one more time, big shout out to OneFootball for sponsoring the video. There is a link in the description. Click that. It's free to download. Why wouldn't you? Big up to everybody for watching. As I said, let me know your 11 in the comments below.